Okay, here's a front shot of the Hulse TM1 CNC milling machine with a control panel. At this time, we have two vices mounted on the table plus an index head. Here we see the control panel, and you can see that the machine is off at this time. Let's power on and go through the startup process. You can see there's a lot of buttons on the machine. Don't get hung up on trying to learn all these. We'll do that over time. So at this time, the machine is starting up, and now it's come through some series of tests, and it gives an alarm. We must clear that alarm. To clear an alarm, we will press the reset button. The reset button is in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. So we press the reset button. When I do, that alarm will simply go away. Okay? Now, there's a note and a warning here. And let's look at that, if I can make it focus. It says... The two-room mill has not been zeroed. Press the reset button until all alarms have been cleared, followed by pressing the power-up restart button to zero the machine. Watch what happens when I do that. The power-up restart button is located next to the reset, when I hit the power up restart button, I get this little message, safety switch. The machine at this time has no doors on it. The doors have been removed for video purposes and for teaching purposes. So the safety switch has to be overridden. So we have to go to what is called the setting parameter, setting screens. And when we do that, we will press a button, if I can find it, right here. It says setting graph. If you push this button twice, you go to the graphic screen. If you push it once, you go to the settings screen. Settings are defaults in the machine, uh, and they can be manipulated and changed. For the most part, you don't mess with those, but there are a few we will have to do some stuff with, even in the programming. So we're going to hit the setting button one time, and that note goes away. But I get the settings coming up on here. we got to find setting number 51. Notice the setting numbers on the left. So let's go down, and down here in the keypad, I want to push 51. And then up here on the cursor, I hit the up arrow. When I do, the setting screen will go directly to 51. You see 51 safety switch override, and it is off. We wish to turn that on. Again, to do that, we have to hit the right cursor button. When I hit the right cursor button, the off goes to on, it flashes. I have to hit the enter button, which is in the bottom right-hand corner. The enter button is down here in the bottom right-hand corner. It's the same as an enter button on a computer. When I hit it, that goes away, and I get this note that says press Y to continue or N to skip. I want to continue. So I go down to the bottom of my keypad, and I find the letter Y. And I press it. This means, yes, I want to continue. Now I can zero the machine out. I can send all the axes to the home position. To do that, I must push the power-up restart. Now you can see the Z-axis spindle moving up. It takes a few seconds. Once the machine is zeroed out, tool number one will be called in. Here now you see the x-axis moving, you also see the y-axis moving. The y-axis will find home first. That's the y home position, it's the furthest out, the closest to you. x-axis is still moving to the left. You can see it settling in. So at this point, 
the machine is in X and Y home position and the Z is in its home position. That is how you zero the machine out for the initial startup. There are other ways to do that, but this is the main way and the one that we're going to do. So keep that in mind and uh, good luck with the rest of the course.